the uh, vice president of the company greeted me in the lobby. And then we go in to this conference room. And it was uh, this huge room that had a big kind of uni- uh, um, U-shaped table. And there was like 12, 12 13 uh, senior executives. Right, so it was, um, you know, vice president of disc brakes, vice president of drum brakes, um, vice president of our research and development. Um, That's your guy. Chassis, right, yeah. <laughs> all of them. And the, the, I'm like, okay, I can handle this. I just came back from Iraq, so I'm tough. I'm going to do this. Nice. I, I was shit my pants the whole time, but of course. <laughs> <laughs> so, and, and the first thing I said, this is my pitch. I didn't even have a deck. The first thing I said is, I'm not here to insult your intelligence. Just roll with me. So. I pass out all the plates and I say, okay, hold this plate in your hand and the next, the person next to you try and turn it. So I, I turn it like that's a disc break, right? We can all agree that's a disc break, right? And they're all like, what are we doing here? Right. <laughs> um, but then I pass around the three inch balls, send them around and I say, hold that in your hand and have someone try and turn that ball in your hand. And, and they, it was a lot noticeably a lot harder to try and turn that. Nice. I said, that's a sphere break. It's, you can generate more power with a smaller break effective diameter and cover greater surface area. Their minds were blown. They're that's like, awesome. oh my God. And it literally went on for two hours of all of the different applications the sphere break could be applied to. Badass. Cars. 